Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, X da, E da, L da, O. And today I'm going to show you my two ways that I know how to convert audio to MIDI in Reaper. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this theme is called Peace. So what I'm going to do is grab in the audio file and well, I'm going to show you how to set it up. All right, so I found this little guitar sample from Cymatics. This is what it sounds like. Something really simple that you can actually catch the notes with. First thing you want to do is add an effect on here and we're going to go uh, Rhea Tune. All right, and this is Rhea Tune. Uh, Rhea Tune is really cool. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have this where it says send MIDI events when pitch changes, right? So I'm going to click on here. So we have it set up and now if I play, you'll see the notes come in here. Right, so you have the notes popping up inside of the Rhea tune. So now we just need a track for it to actually go to. All right, so for this example, I'm gonna just gonna use Keyzone Classic. It's the easiest one to kind of pull up. So I have Keyzone Classic set up, and now we just need to make sure this Keyzone Classic is able to get this information. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is make sure we have, we're on the sample track. We're going to go to the sends for the sample track. So click on your sends and you want to go to add a new send, right? Once you click on that, I'm going to go to keys on classic or whatever track you have set up and make sure your audio is turned off because we don't want to transmit the audio. We just want the MIDI. So you can click on here and go to none. So now you're set up for the MIDI. Make sure the MIDI is on all. So it's going to go to all the MIDI and in any channel. So all the channels would be able to do this, right? So I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna to go to the Keyzone Classic now. And what we wanna do in here is make sure that the recording is actually recording the MIDI. So I'm gonna right click on here and I'm gonna to go to record output. So the output we want is MIDI. So make sure you click on the MIDI output and we are all set up now. So when I hit record, it'll actually record whatever the notes is coming into this Rhea tune into this Keyzone Classic track. So I'm gonna hit record. So now I'm gonna turn off the effects for this first track just so it doesn't play back those uh, those notes from this. I'm gonna mute this. And here is the piano roll view of the track. And as you see, it's definitely off. Um, this is one of the reasons I don't usually use this method. Uh, I know that it, it has like its flaws with it. So I'll usually not <laughs> use this method. And I'm gonna show you another method to kind of get it a little cleaner. But as you see, the notes are at least here where you could kind of place them where you need them to be. So you do need to move them around a little bit to make sure they are on the right places. Right? So now when I play it back, And I can just go over all of them, hit a legato on there, and it'll play a little bit better. And I could play it with the sample. But as you can hear, it's a little off, but it does work. You're able to actually capture some of the MIDI and be able to kind of fix it or correct it or put it into your track. All right, so that's one method you can actually use. All right, so the method I like to use is using the MK Slicer. This has been a great tool for me inside of Reaper. I have a video showing you guys how to actually use the MK Slicer inside of Reaper. So check out that video if you wanna get more information about it. All right, so here it is docked down here in the bottom. Um, I'm gonna highlight what I want, which is this sample here, and I'm gonna hit get item, All right? Right? And it's going to process it. And as you can see, it's telling me where the transients are inside of the track. So um, you could do this by grid if you wanted to. You could do it by grid, but I'm going to do it by transient, leave it on that. Right? 
So, but the most important part is that we know that we want it to be MIDI, right? So what it's gonna do is create a brand new MIDI channel. So I wanna make sure that I have my pitch detect on. This also does triggers for drums and it also does sampler. So I, if I wanna just slice up the sample itself, um, I want the velocity to be on as well. So it'll change according to the velocity where it's actually hitting. And I have it on legato. You can actually change this to staccato if you have one of those short notes, or you could just have it by the note length. So it'll always do whatever the note length is. Um, I like to put it on complex. Uh, you can put it on melodic if it's something melodic. It has bass, percussion, drums, all that stuff in here as well. And I'm just gonna have it create a new one. So I'm gonna hit on this MIDI right here. And boom, it actually makes a new channel, a new track with the MIDI on it. So I'm gonna do another uh, Keys On Classic. I'm just gonna drag this one up and it'll add another Keys On Classic up here. So now I can mute this and go back to the beginning. And this is what it came up with with the MK Slicer. All right, for some reason it decided that these notes wanted to be higher. <laughs> so we're gonna lower these keys down. So this is what it sounds like now. All right, so these are my two ways of converting audio to MIDI inside a Reaper. If you have any other way that you've been doing it, definitely leave it below in the comment section so that others can actually learn how to do this as well. And make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel because it does help out tremendously and it's still a brand new channel. We're still learning, still growing. And I want to thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.